Bill. Paired five, a community is stepping up in a big way. They're helping a little girl get a new wheelchair after it was stolen. I was hoping that this would happen. Mm -hmm. The community. Niggas. This little girl was paralyzed at a young age. Someone actually shot her in the head. Katie Tursek now with a story. Jesus Christ. This little girl's paralyzed when she was shot in the head. Step and on top of that, they stole her wheelchair. What the? The this is the life of a Blackistanian. This is Blackistan for you, man. This little girl is shot in the head, and then they steal her fucking wheelchair. And then I, now some white people that got her a new wheelchair, I bet. I was hoping that this would happen. Mm -hmm. The community would step in. This little girl was paralyzed at a young age. Someone actually shot her in the head. Katie Tursek now with a story you'll see on Just One Station. And it just really hit me with a with a punch. When Larry Howard saw our story last week on this sweet little girl, he knew he and his wife had to do something. And it really touched his heart. Um, he is a compassionate person who likes to give. Salute to these people. Salute to these people. Back My word, the sons. He immediately said, I want to give something to help this little girl. Alea Brown was two years old when someone shot her in the head during a drive-by shooting outside her grandma's house. Someone. No suspects in custody. Niggas. Someone shot her in the head during a drive-by shooting outside her grandma's house in Cleveland's Union Miles neighborhood. It left her paralyzed. The now nine-year-old depends on a wheelchair. But last month, police say the family's Kia was stolen from East 119th, and her special stroller was inside. They're nowhere to be found. I thought it was such a tragedy and the trauma that she's experienced as well as her family uh, over these years. Uh, and then to have had the medical uh, facilities that she used daily to be taken. So the former pastor and his wife stepped up. They plan to donate money so Alea can get a new wheelchair. That way she can get back to enjoying life outside her home. We appreciate it, you know, because this has been one hell of a nightmare for us. One, just one. Yeah, man. Look at what they gotta take. They gotta care for this little girl. This girl needs around the clock care, and it doesn't look like they can afford a home health aid. Yeah, a couple of things. It's not only that she's paralyzed; but she doesn't even have any like mental faculties about her. Looks like she's almost like brain dead. Yeah, it's just like she's like a three-year-old again. Yeah, it's, it's just ruined, ruined her life. Who's this son man in the mural right here? Probably a fucking relative who's been killed. This shit and the crazy thing is, the people that took her wheelchair, it's not like they took it because they needed it for their son or something. I guarantee you it was a bunch of teens that took it for a joyride and dumped it off somewhere where they nah, can't find they didn't take, they didn't take the wheel. They didn't take a wheelchair. They cleared it up. They said they took the Kia. That was a van, and they had the wheelchair inside of it. Yeah, and they probably just dumped the car somewhere or set it on fire or something or threw it out somewhere. Like this uh, this is this is terrible, man. This is terrible. I guarantee you in Pakistan the uh, the ones that shot her in the head would be sitting on a uh, pointed stick until they uh were impaled. Man, it, they would be in a dungeon somewhere, man, and I'd have my um torture team working on them man until they until they died of, I, I try to say keep them alive for about two or three months you know what i'm saying try to keep them alive but but you know go to work on them but try to keep them alive for about two or three months you know, it's gonna be hard because it's this, <laughs> shit. you know what i'm saying because i mean or people, give them a choice either either suffer like that or be her caretakers for the rest of your lives. No, nah, fuck that. No, 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 no. See, that's your, your gladder shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna say that's a gladder shit. Gladder, gladder, gladder 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 your fucking son, man, might molest her or some shit, man. And you, and you, you fucking, uh, now you done fucking let this goddamn derelict son, man, around this fucking little girl, man. Nah, man. That you, you a glider, man. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not a glider. I'm a Patel. You, I'm a Patel, but oh, maybe you, not. Patel, you deal with Patels, man. And you Patels is, is a piece of work, too. But, yeah, you need to deal with Patels, man. Sons, I got it, man. You know, torture him for a couple months. and then Because he they shot this girl <laughs> over. The, what the shooting was over was over some bullshit. The shooting that they, whatever they were shooting at or whoever they were shooting at, that was over some bullshit. 
go through this. And the outpouring of support hasn't stopped. Aliyah's grandmother got another call from an anonymous Good Samaritan. Like, when they had called my phone, I'm looking like, who, who is this person talking on my phone? And it, it, it was... It was weird, and he said, I know this is weird. He said, you don't know me. He said, just wait until Friday, and I'll show you. So we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> and it's all making a difference. And if others see this, maybe they will be inspired and encouraged to do the same. In Cleveland. Yeah, man, I would, I would help that little girl out, man. That's, that's such a terrible story, man. God damn.